Night, good morning, um, and welcome back to an angler's diary. And uh, thank you for joining me. Um, and welcome back to the Lake of Menteith. It's um, it's that time of the year again, a day afloat, looking for looking for a big pike um, with the boys from Pike Anglers Club of Great Britain. Um, conditions well, as you've already seen, still foggy, damn near ideal really. Heavy, heavy overcast, um, but unfortunately we didn't have the best of starts this morning. Uh, we got about 300 yards after the usual Grand Prix style start and then the engine cut out. So we had to row back to the boatyard, me and my pal Dave. Say good morning Dave. Good morning Dave. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so we had to row back to the, the boatyard and uh, the diagnosis was um, water in the petrol, apparently. Um, hardly surprising, mind. The amount of rain they had up here yesterday. Big water everywhere, to be frank. Um, uh, so not the best of starts, but having said that, my pal Dave um, has already had a boat, uh, a fish to the boat, so he's, he's had his blank saver. Um, needless to say nothing for me so far except for one drop run and uh, if anything else more slightly more exciting happens I'll be back oh and I should add for those of you that are kind enough to follow the channel not all of my fishing buddies are called Dave two of them are this is Dave 2 if you know what I mean Hopefully it stays on. Fish number two for David. I have a horrible suspicion it may be a trout. Exactly what it is. something at it but it doesn't kind of look like a pike bite to be honest well two hours in um, and not a lot to report David's had his small jack blank saver and he's also had a, an eight pound we estimate eight pound rainbow trout uh, dead bait rod. In fact, the trout are being a bit of a nuisance to be honest because they're pestering the baits, you know, and messing around with the baits all the time, which uh, frankly could do without. <laughs> well, it's taken a long, long time, but something's happened. to say I was almost resigned to the fact that nothing was going to happen.
David. It's got a bit of a pull about it. Where's the rope? Oh, I can't stop it, man. I can't stop it. <laughs> yeah, my heart's in my mouth. Do you know that? Oh, come! Lord, please, please, please. Yes, yes. Oh my goodness. Well oh. Thank you. I'll hold on if you want to find it. Just connect your trace while you want to go. Oh. You can get that and hook the map out. Well, what do you make of that? I think I said at some point I'd um, almost resign myself to the fact that it wasn't going to happen today and then along comes one of those. It's really why we come, obviously. Um, but there are occasions when, I mean, the fishing's not easy on these waters. Don't let anybody ever convince you 
the trout fish trout water piking is is easy it's not um, you need a, a deal of luck no matter where you're fishing um, but that has just turned what looked like a poor day into the very best kind of day and we've still got a couple of hours left <laughs> who knows <laughs> fantastic Oh dear. Well, that's about it. The light, uh, the light's starting to go, um, and we're uh, we're going to have to pack up and head for the boatyard. Um, a strange sort of one fish each day today. Dave up the pointy end, got his blank saving jack early this morning and then much much later, well you've seen what happened much much later, it just made the long journey north worthwhile. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that, um, it was a bit shaky filming today with the uh, rock and roll in boat but I hope it, uh, it turns out okay. Um, and what's next? Well, um, we're off to the Highlands uh, a couple of days time. So um, it'll be uh, Highland Piking next time. Thanks for watching this. Hope you enjoyed it. See you soon.